An electric Mercedes sedan caught to fire last week, damaging more than 140 cars and leaving dozens of people hospitalized. The incident sparked fears over safety of electric vehicle batteries. Our Lee Soo-jin tells us about some effective methods to combat EV fires. With growing concerns in South Korea about the safety of electric vehicle batteries, there is a lot of attention on how to deal with EV battery fires. Firefighters here are demonstrating what they do when an electric vehicle catches on fire. They begin by spraying the entire vehicle with a hose, then place a device beneath it that sprays water like a fountain, ensuring the water reaches the batteries located under the car. The firefighters then cover the vehicle with a fire blanket in order to prevent the fire from spreading. After that, fire suppressor tubes are placed around the vehicle and filled with water until the battery is completely submerged. But this means that lots of equipment is needed to extinguish the fire. As such, efforts are underway to supply fire blankets to every apartment complex in Incheon to help with the initial response to a battery fire. We plan to distribute one vehicle fire suppression blanket to each of Incheon's approximately 1,600 apartment complexes. Incheon is where an electric Mercedes-Benz sedan parked in an underground parking lot of an apartment complex suddenly caught fire last Thursday. According to the firefighters, the car was not being charged. The fire damaged more than 140 cars and left 23 people hospitalized, raising concerns about the safety of electric vehicle batteries. While there is also growing interest in fire extinguishers specifically designed to put out lithium-ion battery fires, it may be difficult for individuals to completely put out the fire with just an extinguisher, even in the early stages. This is why one expert said that the most effective measure would be to improve parking lot safety. Fire compartments should be set up in underground parking lots, and in the long term, charging stations should be installed on the ground level to encourage electric vehicle owners to park above ground. Meanwhile, the South Korean government is set to come up with a comprehensive plan to deal with the rising number of fires sparked by electric vehicles. The Ministry of Environment said on Thursday that it will host an emergency meeting on the 12th of August for relevant government agencies, including the Ministries of Industry and Transport and the National Fire Agency. Lee Soo-jin, Arirang News.